Alright, what's up guys? So today I thought I'd switch up the channel a little bit um, and kind of strain away from movies because I love movies and love TV shows, but I'll strain away a little bit and I'm going to be talking about my comic book collection. I, I mentioned it doing a little bit in the merch video because I wanted to strain off a little bit, maybe reach a different kind of audience. And Tubi got back to me and said, I'd love to see that. So I'm doing this for you, man. Um, as well as other people that, you know, may not have commented or wanted to see it, whatever. But I've got a lot of, I think I've got about 20 comics and uh, about three graphic novels. Now, obviously the difference between graphic novels and comic books, I can tend to think episodes are kind of like comic books where you can get something cool out of them, but the whole story in general, you got to watch a season. Whereas graphic novel is kind of, I guess, like a movie or a season. Um, but I'm really excited uh, to to uh, to go through these with you. I haven't read most of them um, because I'm not a huge reader in general, um, but I picked up a lot of them. Uh, I picked up a few in America, but a lot of them I got from my uncle. He gave them to me, he collects a lot of them. He's like, hey, do you want these ones? Um, then, you know, the the ones that are a bit more different and a bit more specific, and he's like, all right. I'm like, yeah, of course, I'll take them. Free comics, why not? But, I don't know if you can hear my dog there. What the fuck are you doing, man? Uh, let's get into them. Uh, with the first one, uh, Flash Rebirth. Now, if for people that know DC and people that are familiar with um, with the Rebirth, about a year ago, DC decided to kind of strap everything they were doing into Rebirth of the comics, kind of like the New 52, but they did it again because the New 52 wasn't too successful. I read this one online before I bought it. I bought this in America like a month or so ago. Um, and it's a fantastic comic. Um, I really like Flash. He's my favourite superhero. Um, and I, I, I really am excited to see what they're doing with him. Um, the next one, I literally just picked this one because it was Batman and it was, they did a bunch of dollar comics and I have not read them yet. Um, but this is actually is Batman Hush. Um, this one is the, the the Loeb, Lee and Williams one. I don't know if I pronounced Loeb right. Um, again, I haven't read this one yet, but I'm excited to. It's obviously got uh, Harley Quinn, Bat. It's, a, it's like kind of the three girls and then Hush and Batman. But I'm just going to keep pairing through them. Um, these are actually all cool ones that I read ages ago when I first got them. I got them in about 2015 or 14 maybe. Um, when I was, you know, a few years ago. And uh, I picked them up because the, they were the... Oh, no, they were the number one editions for the New 52. Um, but they had the lenticular covers that I thought were sweet. And I don't know how this is going to look because I got new lights, guys, by the way. New fucking lights. They're actual legit lights. Um, umbrella lights. And they're white, which is hopefully making me look better and less shadowy, but... I'll see how it looks on the camera, but this is the Green Arrow uh, Futures End and New 52. I don't know if you can see the lenticular, but the Oliver Queen on the front, as I'm wearing the Arrow shirt. I really like the show Arrow. Um, Green Arrow is also one of my favourite um, heroes, definitely top five, I can say, not just in DC, but in general, as well as New 52 Futures End, edition one of Flash. I'm trying to get that lenticular flip, if you can't see it, it's got... Um, it's got... I assume, I, I can't tell which Flash has got Red Suit Flash and then Silver Suit Flash. Um, I think one's Wally and one's Barry from my guesses. And then this one's kind of lenticular, I think. Yeah, so this is Batman again. Same thing. You can kind of see one's without his suit on. Uh, without the cape on and the other one's got the cape on. But um, yeah, I, I, I remember them ages ago. I remember them, I remember them being a bit confusing because a lot of stuff in comics I don't know what's going on. Generally, in comics, I like to... I generally... I learn stuff from animations and the TV and TV shows and stuff like that. The majority is just wikis and stuff I learn off, but I don't actually read a hell of a lot of comics. Um, which I'm about to show you how much I don't read. I'm just going to start flipping through these. Um, this one, it looks like... There's a lot of weird Superman ones. Again, most of these are DC, a few Marvel. Um, this one's called Bloodbath. Um, I think, yeah, this looks like a super... Maybe Justice League in general. I, I can see a few members of the of the Justice League in there. I'm not sure what it's about. If anyone has read any of these and be like, "Oh, you got to read that edition," let me know because I I haven't actually read any of these. The majority of these are specific issue ones that my uncle's like, "Yeah, cool." Um, this is Captain America: uh, Galactic Storm, uh, 400th issue. Um, again, these are like weirdly specific. Uh, but again, if you guys have have seen any. Or read any, should I say? Let me know. Um, this one I'm actually tempted to read right now because it it um it seems like a bit of fun and it's very good fitting time. And this is the DCU Holiday Bash. Uh, again, no idea. This looks very weird. Uh, this is issue one of Justice Machine. 
Again, guys, uh, my uncle gave it to me because they weren't that big and there was a really specific ones. I think he was trying to, like, be bought when he's young because he's like, oh, these are volume ones. Volume ones, these might be valuable someday. And none of them really turned out they, this way. Um, this one, I think it's a spin-off of Superman, it looks like. It's DC. It's called Steel. Again, I know a little bit about comics, but major majority from animation stuff and whatnot. Uh, this one... I don't know what it is specifically. I feel like I might have bought this one. I'm learning a lot along with you guys. This one's just Batman. I don't know what issue or anything like that, but it's a Batman one. This next one is the tw giant size 25 25th anniversary issue um, of Wolverine. A very iconic cover. That's a very cool picture. And that actually is a really cool, um, really cool cover. I might have to read that one. That one looks like a legit good comic. Um, this one is called Adventures in the DC Universe Annual. Um, and this stars Superboy, Impulse, Miracle, Mr. Miracle, Dr. Fate, and Rose and Thorn. So it's obviously the Beaker. Uh, <laughs> there, a bit of shit on. This is a. Uh... Oh, okay. This looks like maybe like a Death of Superman edition. Um, that one there. Again, guys, if I'm looking down a lot, it's because I'm trying to figure out what the fucking comics are. This one is apparently. Uh, apparently, is. Here, I don't know. I had this one. This one, it says DC. It's Star Trek in the Next Generation. Illwind. Did not know I had a Star Trek one, guys. It really shows you how much I pay attention um, to my comic book collection. Um, and this one is the number one edition of the Spectacular Scarlet Spider, Spider Man one. There. I have a couple more. Then I can talk about my graphic novels, which I actually care about and give a shit about, and know which ones I have. And there's only three, but um, this one is number one, Fighting American. The Cold War Hero Returns. Captain America one there. Um, these I'm tempted to read. I'm, I actually love the... I haven't got Robin 1 here, but i got Robin 2 and Robin 3. Uh, the Joker's Wild and The Cry of the Huntress. Uh, I really like the whole... Uh, the whole Joker-Robin plots that they have going on. Um, there's some really cool shit in there, so... Moving on to my graphic novels, um, this is a huge one, and they're doing a movie on it um, very soon. I haven't initiated a date yet, but this is Jeff Johns' Flashpoint. Jeff Johns is a fucking miracle worker. He is a great writer. He is just a genius. I I know what happens. You haven't seen the movie. I've read a lot of stuff online, um, and I've got to read this for legit, because this is a crazy good story. Um, if you guys haven't seen, I'm seeing if I can go it behind me. This movie, uh, Justice League The Flashpoint Paradox, check that shit out. That is a fucking amazing animation movie. That is easily one of my favourite DC animations, if not my favourite DC animation film. It is just the tits. Um, but i got to read this graphic novel because that looks amazing. The one I'm reading right now that I'm getting so into and it's so long, but it is such a great story that I also read about um, at school when they had just gone through wikis and stuff. And it's Black as Night. Um, this is obviously when... They get the Black Lantern ring one uh, and Black Hand basically just tries to take the shit over and they need other la all the lanterns come together on the shit. This is dope as fuck so far um, and I definitely recommend that. I know I haven't finished it but I know it happens through stuff but it's pretty fuck cool. You learn about a lot of characters and you didn't realise how much they play into facts and just like like that but that's really cool. And the last one I bought is a long time ago that I honestly thought I didn't own. I didn't realise I own it. I didn't realise what it was. Um, this is the graphic novel Hush, Batman Hush, Part 1. I haven't got any of the parts. I didn't realise I had that, but I love Batman. Again, Batman, Green Arrow, and Flash are like top three favourite heroes. They're just fucking awesome. They're just amazing. Alright, that is it for my comic book collection, guys. Again, sorry I haven't been more detailed in them. I haven't read majority of them. I reckon this video is pretty long anyway. Um, but about 20 or so comics, and then about three graphic novels, so... Little bit of stuff. I'm trying to build up my graphic. I probably won't get a lot of more comic books. But I'm trying to build up my uh, my graphic novel, my graphic novel stuff because it's it can get really cool. Again, I I, I want to know how this lighting looks. I want to have the shadow on top looks because these are really cool lights. This is the second time I filmed on them in the same day. I might actually love actually the review that dropped yesterday. Um, had the the lights and stuff like that, but. That's it guys, thank you guys for watching. A little bit of a different type of video again. If you guys just have, this is the first video you've seen. Um, I don't just do comic book stuff, I do majority of movie, movie stuff, so check my reviews out, check out my other Blu-ray videos. But of course, have a good one.